welcome back to another tutorial in Blackboard. In this tutorial we will be covering how to attach an mp3 file to a discussion board post in Blackboard 9.1. First, you will want to save your mp3 file to your hard drive on your computer so that you can easily locate it. I like to save it on my desktop. I find it's very easy to find it to upload it into the discussion board. Next, you'll want to go to the Blackboard course site. Now yours might look slightly different than mine's looking right now, but go ahead and go to the left-hand side and locate the discussion board tab, which is right here. Once you click on it, it will give you all the different discussion boards that we have in class. Go ahead and locate the correct discussion board you wanna upload your MP3 file to. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one as a demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and create a new thread, though the method is the same if you're replying to someone else's thread. And you'll wanna go ahead and give your discussion thread a name, and probably more descriptive than just new thread, but I'm gonna use that as a demonstration. Down here in the box, you would go ahead and write your discussion board posts, and then when you're ready, what you'll want to do is go ahead and insert your MP3 file. So you'll go to the fifth icon over here, and it's this one right here, and you'll know it because when you scroll over it, it will say add audio content. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it brings me to the screen which it says, you know, basically wants to know where is the file located. So I'll say I'll browse my computer, and hopefully you put it in a place that's easily located, and go ahead and click on it once you find it, and say open. Now, in this box right here, it's important to put an alternative text in here, basically say, giving it a descriptive name. Uh, this is really nice for anyone who might be visually impaired, and it will let them know how, you know, if it's important to them to open it or not. Okay, so I'm just going to put uh, my Audacity Practice Audio, that's what I have in here, and so uh, that should let them know what that is. And I'll just go ahead and click Submit. And this could take just a slight minute because it's uploading your mp3 file. Then once it's uploaded, it will come to this screen right here and it's basically asking you, do you want to add this file? And yes, I do, so I'm gonna click Submit. And that will bring us back here into this file and you can see it loaded it as a QuickTime player right here and here is my discussion and of course you'd have written a little bit more up here but you can see I have my controls right here so if I play on it you can hear it actually okay and so once this is all right and you can you have a chance of rewriting anything you'd like if you wanted to delete the mp3 you could certainly do that and start over again um, but I'm pretty happy with what I have so I'm gonna go ahead and say submit and that will bring us back to our discussion board right here. So let's just go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my thread right there. And you can see there's the QuickTime player. And here's the controls. And I can just test out the sign. And there it is. So it's all working. And there's our discussion board. So you can see how easy it is to really add MP3 uh, files into the discussion board post. All right, that's it for this video. I look forward to uh, hearing your posts this week, and I'll see you in the next video.